Win and let her pick up whatever she want. She's the Gucci hip hop take up whatever she want. She <laughs> tell you that today work all prisoners no survivors that's what it took from me okay that's the energy I'm I'm surprised I survived it's not a TGIF it's a thank god it's after five and today is the least gloomy day this entire week so that's always a reason to be happy I do love me a good rainy day but when it's four in a row hell no so we're gonna do a little pick me up. Where's the pack? Well, oh. this arrived this morning when I came back from the gym and I said, let me wait until I have time. If I get a lunch break, you would think working from home, I'd be able to, no time for that. I wanna know what your least favorite chore is. And do we even call it chores when we're adults? I know it's not called adulting anymore because the Gen Z's got that out of there. Every day I feel like I'm older as a millennial. I mean like every day we get older. But every day I feel older as a millennial when I find out that I was today years old about something else that these youngins, the youths, already knew about. For example, I found out this is how you're supposed to store your reusable bags. Only TikTok would tell me that. Aritzia! If you're new here, you should know. Growing up, I used to hate Aritzia. When I got older, I was like, you know what? Aritzia slaps. They got some stylish classic pieces. This is giving me a cheaper version of the skim dress that you can actually wear outside your house. Actually, no, because it's way shorter. I don't remember it being a midi. I thought it was at least a maxi. Because I was thinking about, oh, maybe this won't work actually now that I think about it. Maybe I didn't think about it. I was thinking about pairing this and these strings, these type of stringy straps. I love how feminine thin straps are but when you wash them a lot, and a lot of times I tend to hand wash so that these things do last and they don't fade, by the way, but sometimes over time, the elastic is not hippity hop. Wondering if I can pull this off with a blazer at work. I literally wear the same three outfits to work and I'm supposed to be in office Monday to Thursday, so you know I'm hand washing what I'm wearing on Monday on Thursday again. That was underwhelming. There's another dress I ordered that is more work appropriate, but also, the same material because I can't find nice suiting material dresses. Do they not exist anymore? Do people just, well, I see the girls slaying in my office. I'm like, I don't know anyone enough like that to be like, hey, where you get that from? You know, like you need to catch a vibe before you start asking people where they get their clothes from or what perfume is that. It's so funny, like I can go out to dinner and ask a complete stranger that and not care because I'm never gonna see them again. But when it comes to asking someone in my office, especially since I can't even see them, I don't want to be like kikiing with them and then the next week walk by them, they think I'm stush. But it's that I can't recognize them. Only things visually impaired people have to think about. Or maybe I think too much. Could be that. On this back, I might order the white one with the white skirt, speaking of suiting material, because I think I can pull that off as a coat cord. A steady switch. And I'm supposed to get some stuff from Lululemon. Why is Lululemon canceled? I can't figure it out. When I found out that Starbucks was canceled, I stopped spending my own money there, although I still get gift cards. If I'm gonna get a gift card, I'm gonna use a gift card. I got another, another one today. I wish I could say this came from Ariel Six Silks or something epic. That class was actually quite fun. The only thing is, I don't like sharing silks. I'm such a germaphobe, one. For two, Glasses nearing the end of the day on a busier day tend to smell. I did not like the smell of the sweaty silks. On the right side, it made me like that much more determined to climb. I wish I'd recorded it. I got it pretty high for someone who hasn't done it in a month and a half. So there's that. Do you ever wonder what your life would be like if 
the Rona never made it to where you live. I'll check in with you guys probably tomorrow when I get the gappity gap and gaping gap out of the way. We have arrived at a land far, far away from home. If you watch the vlogs before, you know exactly where here is at. We're gonna keep it calm, cool, collected tonight and just have a low key night and make a lasagna. The fam and I, me and the fam, we're gonna get to that right now, so come on. some meat coloring in there. A lot of that? No, not much. Uh, mix, mix of spice, it's original. It has all different spices in there. I'm not sure in, in this stock of seasons. I have a garlic here. When I'm cooking, I like to have it going. Simmer a little bit. Ah! A little spice for to it. A little notch. Pineapple. Pineapple. Hot sauce. Yes, baby. I'm doing it for the camera. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. Everything just cooked down beautifully. Well, you open that so easily. You know how hard it is for me to open those at home? Definitely doing this wrong all along. No, you can't do it this way because you already have the gravy, you already have the sauce to it. Keep some back and, and add the spaghetti to it. It's like corned beef, but we, I don't eat corned beef anymore. Corned beef is Exactly. Let that simmer. Add a little dinosaur sauce to it. But then it will be sweet. Not sweet. It tastes yeah. nice. Diana sauce is so sweet. Mmm, beautiful. My woman, my woman, my woman, my woman. Some TikTok content, so we gotta get TikTok ready. Starting off by 
washing my face. I've already brushed my teeth. I should have had tea earlier. I heard my stepdad doing laundry at six o'clock and then he went for work. Works every day. Typical Jamaican man, okay? You know, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, oh wait, let me show you. This is why I love shopping online on Sephora because you have samples you wouldn't get if you shop in store that are actually useful for times like these, whether you're doing an overnight trip or even a package like this could probably last me the 10 days I was in Antigua, honestly. Oh my gosh, you know how hard it was to get rid of the last big bump that left that really bad blemish? I can't believe I left the country with it on my face. But anyway, what I'm trying to get in the habit of doing is think of 10 things a day that I'm grateful for for the year. So it can be the same things over and over again, or I can try to come up with new things just because this has been a really hard year for me. Honestly, not just me, a lot of people that I know personally. And the thing about gratitude is you never want to fake it. So gratitude actually becomes something that's negative when you're telling yourself, be grateful that the sky is blue or that you woke up today, unless you honestly, honestly, honestly feel that way. But if you're just saying it to say it, it'll actually make you feel way worse. Wow, I feel like this is a Patreon pod. This is the kind of thing we talk about on there, which I do have to record one when I get home tonight. So stay tuned for that if you're not already subscribed. You can head over to Patreon, and that's where I share my insights on life and how I've learned a lot about a lot, but I still feel like I know nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna get TikTok ready, film two pieces of content while I'm here because obviously the aesthetic is giving a wealthy YouTuber. Meanwhile, Actually, I'm gonna do three pieces because yesterday's content did not come out well, but I'm glad that the montage that you just saw of the lasagna making came out well. <laughs> made by we, when really made by one person. I don't think he'd let us help, so I didn't even bother asking to be honest. I just asked what was in it so I know how to make it myself another time. I'm grateful that I got to spend time with my family two for two because we spent last week too. I don't even know if I'm looking at you like the mirror camera conversation thing throws me off because I don't supposed to be looking there, here. Oh. Ooh. Always get mascara on the side of the nose. I don't know how I do that every single day. The vision's been worsening, by the way. I don't know if I got to tell you guys that. But I had my annual eye exam in March. He's like, have you been noticing that you're losing vision? <laughs> yes, he's like, yeah, I've seen quite a bit of deterioration in the same areas. So the good thing is it's not worsening in different parts of my eyes, but it's still worsening, if you know, you know. Plus I have floaters, a lot of them. He's like, I'm surprised you're not complaining about them. I've gotten used to them at the start of last year. Okay, maybe around this time last year. I started to see specks everywhere I look, no matter what. Like it used to be it happened for a bit then go away, but one day it just came and it never left. So every time I look at everything, it's like there's tiny little dots just floating around. A lot of people experience floaters throughout their lives. It's like the debris that's just floating in the back of your eye kind of goes in the jelly part. Things you never know, but as you get old, more of it kind of just sloughs off and just floats in the ethers. So there's that. And then when you have a disease like mine, it happens to happen faster. The joys of being legally blind. I hate bringing full sizes of anything anywhere, but the one that I have at Mini, Crackalax. That's in my bag. Remember when those used to be a dedicated video here on YouTube? Boy, things have changed. Why did they discontinue this? This was the best concealer of life. This reminds me of my Get Ready With Me in Madrid when I left my Killian Angel share perfume behind. I'm still devastated about that. And a little flip. Have you guys listened to Bryson Tiller's new album? Trap Soul is one of the best R&B albums of this generation. Yeah, my hair is crying to be cleansed. Like literally, do you see this curl? And sometimes my flat iron curls are so amazing and other times it looks like ooh, Just good enough, just good enough. I'm making eggs, so I hope it's good. What? Yeah. If I knew I wouldn't have let you do it, I would've done it.
let's do a little little arms today like I know how to do arms I totally don't know how to do arms at all but I need to if I'm gonna get better at aerial the silks yeah no why am I pretending like I know how to use these things is it locked or is it too heavy is it a dub what what ow please whoa I think this is the chest. I don't want to work out my chest. I don't think that's something I'm supposed to touch. <laughs> Let me leave. Qu'est-ce que c'est? I don't know what this is. Are there exercises on here? Okay. What does any of this mean though? What the heck is that one? That is one leg up. What? I'm not trying to do no theatrics. I just want to do a little arms. This one's not weight. I feel like this is something I should wait for my stepdad to get back to show me, but like, also I have to film different content. Ugh. Okay, I'm confused. Wait, no, let me just not. One, two. You know what I mean, right? I can't. I could hop up. I ain't got that strength. This is embarrassing. I got a long way to go. What I was doing before is easier. We were doing so good until we got back to this lovely city called Toronto where there's so much traffic. It just happened on a sunny Sunday. So we took the long scenic route. It was actually really beautiful. I thought about filming it for you, but then that would involve me digging at the bottom of my bag. Blue lemon landed while I was away. A couple pieces I got a couple days ago. I don't know if this is the same one that I ordered at the beginning of the year that I returned or slightly different, but we'll see when I try these sets on. Two tops and a bottom. One top and two bottoms. Gee, it's giving faded pink though. For someone who's losing a lot of cones, I am quite picky about my colors. This is very muted, a lot more muted than I thought it'd be. And I don't even like the short line bras anyway. These are the 26, so basically 7 eighths. It depends what color it is. Sometimes I like the full length, sometimes I like the little cropped. I know I have a peach pear from Aloe. This is my airport outfit because it's comfortable, it's thick, and I get cold on lights. I don't know about you guys. Now I'm like, yeah, it really is peach. My favorite color, they haven't brought back, and I hope they do. I love that I'm just going into my Lululemon Aloe store for you. This is Sunny Coral, so you see? She is on the quest for the perfect hue of orange. I didn't find out until last week that orange is my stepdad's favorite color. I've never really been big on orange, but I do love a good peach because I love pastel anything. Pastel, lilac, of course. Actually, you know what? Baby blue is probably the only pastel that I'm not too keen on. Sometimes Lululemon is spot on with the color difference. For the price, the set has to set. Unless they have one that matches perfectly, I'm sending them all back. I think this is a longer version or is this the shorter version oh shoot see the difference it's just two inches wearing these doing beach yoga nothing compares you just feel like you're in a movie and when you're working out and you feel like you're in a movie it always makes it better 